This is the Shams outline on college physics. And this one's really thick. And you can basically use this book if you're in physics and you're trying to get better. Here it has a list of courses that it thinks that you could use this book with. So college physics, obviously that is a clear choice. If you're taking college physics, uh, definitely uh, the college physics Shams is going to help. And intro to physics, physics one and two, non-calculus physics, and then so, yeah, so if you're going to be doing physics and, you know, you, you don't even need, you know, calculus and you're taking one of those courses, you could use, you could use this book uh, to help you uh, with that. And it's got everything that a physics book is going to have, right? It's just not going to have a lot of calculus. Let me just, let's read this together here. It says, the introductory... The introductory physics course, variously known as general physics or college physics, is usually a two-semester in-depth survey of classical topics capped with some selected material from modern physics. Yep. Basic algebra, some trig, and a tiny bit of vector analysis. Right. So just basic algebra and, and uh, some trig, right? You don't really um, need any calculus, right? So, and it, it, that's the idea behind... Um, this type of physics is that you can basically learn physics uh, without uh, knowing calculus. You can focus on, I think, the concepts perhaps. Um, I think it's good to see it this way, right? Speed, displacement, and velocity, and introduction to vectors. Displacement, you have instantaneous velocity, the addition of vectors. You have some solve problems here. Newton's laws, lots of, lots of stuff here, right? And it's all condensed, so it's really good for self-study because like you can just see like this is a lot of knowledge here, right? And then it's from the page. Then you've got some work examples. So you can get better at physics, you know, by doing problems and, and going through the worked examples. Then you've got supplementary problems. And they have answers, and the answers are right there. You see all the answers, answer. So they give you the answers to the supplementary problems uh, right next to the supplementary problems, which is cool. It's good. It's good so you can check your work. You know, you can do these problems and you can check your work. And we have more supplementary problems, and they have answers as well to these. So, yeah, very good stuff. Very good. Very good for learning. Because you have a lot of work problems, right? So... Yeah, 984 fully worked problems. Yeah, college physics. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool book. So why don't you show it to you? It's one of my books from uh, my collection. I'll leave a link in the description in case you want to check this out. But yeah, it's awesome.